Hey everyone, welcome to another Zero Evidence run. Wait, let me check. Yeah, it's set to Zero Evidence and we're gonna hop to Maple Lodge. First time since the update that I play Maple Lodge. Let's see how it goes performance wise. <laughs> We've arrived. Check the equipment and get okay. investigating. Breakers over there. Objectives like good. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, we some have reports of violence, and it looks like they left in a hurry. Okay, and it froze completely when I looked at the camera. I should do that. Okay, so as usual, I'm gonna set up everything, and uh, then we're gonna hop right in. Okay, here we get our setup. Let's head in. Oh my god, performance is going down. Well, I think that's it. Okay, so we got the nice, beautiful sunrise weather and let's enjoy it. I heard that. We got the breaker. Oh, look at those lights. It looks so cool. That's a bit weird up there. But unfortunately, it uses some performance. Um, hey there! How are you doing? We found the bone on a medium map. Hey! <gasps> Whoa! Slendy, you scared me! This time you actually scared me in this game. Usually I'm being scared by you in your original game, but what are you doing? Are you out for a bath? Oh my god, that's incredible! Wait. Let me screenshot this. I've never seen you in the water like that. And you scared me. <laughs> Seriously. I, in the co I was like turning and then... Pew! <laughs> Only missing was the sound when he appears that. Boom! Okay, let's enjoy this here. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It's weird when I'm here looking at this far side here. Hey, Slendy. Doesn't use that much performance. I, I don't understand how it works. Jason, you're here too? Hey, bud. Oh, it looks so cool. Point Hope, upcoming map. Slendy, I've never seen you there. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a photo of you. Don't worry. Oh my god, the way you can see his head there. That's so creepy. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, Easter egg check. Does it work? Let's see. Whip. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Okay. Let's have a look upstairs. I don't see anything out of place. This light is not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay. Is this coming through the window? It might be. Ah, through this window. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, no ghosty in here so far, as I can tell. Everything off, yes. You know what, we're gonna take care of you. Maybe along the way we will find a ghosty. We found Slendy, we have found the bone. Hey, great start, right? <laughs> oh, we get this hiding spot too. Cool. Okay. Let's have a walk back. It looks actually kind of cool. I think the ghost might be around there somewhere. I've heard something there. Or maybe there? Okay, let's grab a camera. Let's take care of the bone. I don't know. Up over here. It has so huge performance issues. But at the lake and over there, totally fine. I don't know what it is. Slendy, I'll come back for you. I'm gonna check this area next because I thought I heard something, but this tree over there is acting weird. You see that? Um, who turned off the lights here? Wait, what? Slendy, was that you? Someone has turned off the lights. Uh huh. Breaker still on. Slendy, did you do that? Wait. That means the ghost must be here. I left the lights on. Are you on the pier? 
Ghost, are you here? Give us a sign. Jason, seen any ghosts? Hello? It has to be around this area here. Because it has turned off the lights. But... Is it in the cabin and it went out? Or was it over there and it was following me or something like that? Like, do I have another banshee here? You hear that? That might have been an... I felt something. Let's turn you on. Don't see any open tents. Are you here? Give us a sign. Are you here? Where are you? Let's unbuck this. No, it doesn't work. Okay, weird. Ghost, are you in here? Hello? Ghosty, are you here? Hello? Ghosty pants? I, I don't know why... Why did it turn off the lights over there? Okay, you know what? We're gonna go full on thermos red. I know I left the photo cam over there. But I have two more here, it's fine. Are you right at the entrance or are you right here? No, let's check this area first. Let's go over here. thought it was going down for a second, but it's not. Check here. No. In here. No. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's in that area over there, you know? In this area where I turned off the lights, where I found the bone. No, it's not. Sandy, seen any ghosts? Hmm. But why was the light off? Sandy, was that you? Imagine Slendy being timed to turn off the lights at one point. That would be hilarious. Okay, check the cabin. It's even warmer in here than outside. I mean, it makes sense, right? Not the cabin. So I think it might be somewhere around the middle area then. It's weird that it's not here. So now the Thames might go down again because we are outside. Yes, let's wait it out for a second. It was at 15, right? I hear something behind me. Yeah, and it stops here. It stops at 15, okay. Huh. Wait, here it goes up again. Why? We have a Benji. Who turned off that light? Am I crazy? Ghost, are you here? Could it be a Benji that's on the other side of the map? Heard something. Did you knock on this? You've just turned on that light. I think that's a banshee. And it's for sure not a male. That's you know what? We know the ghost is around here. Now we saw it. It has been proven. You know what we're gonna do? I think we got a stalking ghost here. Look, the temps are going down here. It may have wormed through this area here. But it's not going like ghost room down. I I don't know where the ghost room is. 
but I can track the ghost's movement. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna stay here. Why do I get all the benches on this map? I mean, I appreciate it because uh, you don't have to find the ghost room for a bench, right? <laughs> That's good. Secure this area. Um, set up the hiding spot. The performance here is so ass. Oop. Mark our crucifixes so I can find them. Did it? What's that light? Uh, it's a reflection of the flashlights, I think. Yeah, it's the flashlight. I thought it was the sensor. Light sensor, you are a little bit buggy. Unbug you. Okay, let's spread some salt. Let's do this. It must be around that area or it followed me. Either way, we'll know. So let's spread salt everywhere. Boop. Okay, interesting. And we can see where Ghosty is coming from. Leave that here. I can put this here. I think it's gonna be a banshee. Or a wraith. Could be possible too. We got EMFs here. In case it is a wraith. Mm, let's put this one here and sit behind it. This one here. For a wraith. weird that it has turned on that light over there and turned off the other one. You see that? The ghost room obviously seems to be in the bathroom area. Because there's water. Running water. But the ghost was obviously on the other side of the map. So it's one of the stalking ghosts. Let's figure out which one. So the Wraith would give us an EMF reading. There you go. Hey ghosty, how are you doing? It, it, I think it's a Benji. Because it, it was like around me pretty often, twice already. I mean, it's already yeah, 30 minutes in the mission, but you saw it. It triggered that sensor. It came from there. So, let's do this and additional ones here. I'm not even going to the ghost room, I'm just gonna chill out here and wait for the ghost to come to me. Oh, it's blown out that lantern. So, it might come from this way. This seems to be the shortest way for it room towards us. Mm. Let's take a photo of this. Let's still get the perfect game here. So let's at least try. So it's not a wave. It has stepped into the salt. It has not triggered the EMF. So it has to walk from the bathrooms which are over there as you can hear all the way over here so it, no, it won't use that way okay it's gonna use this way then and we've gotten a whisper of course ah, damn it it whoa what was that that scared me damn it it could it could still be a mimic i have to check for all these though but actually I'd say no, because it was near me most of the time, right? Okay, where's the water? In here? In here. 
I could take a photo of that. Hey, Ghosty, how are you doing? Ah, <laughs> damn it, we need... Yeah, I've got that. We need uh, the 25% objectives. Okay, we're gonna use one of these for that, okay. For the 25 objective. I hope one of the crucifixes will survive. Um, where did I draw my camera? It's here. Let's see if we can get some additional photos. Maybe it's not walking towards me at the moment because I was in the ghost room and it stays in there. But with the lights, that was suspicious as hell. Because this is the ghost room here, as you can see. Okay, take this. Do we have another? No, I don't hear it. This is the ghost room, obviously. Give us a sign. Are you here? Show us. Are you here? Show us. Give us a sign. I can check for orbs later on the camera. It's there. It's ready. Yeah, cool. Another banshee on Mega Lodge, and I didn't even get the banshee screen. But I already know it might be a phantom too because I have to wait for a bit and watch it if it runs often towards me or not. So yeah, I'm gonna wait here a bit, try to get all the photos. So I'll be back. Okay, it has tried to worm towards me again. It has stepped into the other salt pile. Let's just wait and see how often the ghost does it. It's not that far actually. If I'm sitting, if I'm sitting here in the middle, it's not too far for the ghost to worm towards me. If I would be where I was before with Slendy on the other side, it would take longer for the ghost to walk between um, my area and its ghost room. So this, that was a knock on the mirror. And it has turned on another sink. Maybe a new one. I could take that photo later on. But I just want to show you a door. I just want to show you that I've already figured out that it's a banshee or maybe a phantom. Only because of the roaming behavior. So especially on larger maps, it's a bit easier. I think that was an ambient sound near it. But it's weird that it's not walking towards me again. It should be. It's obviously one of the stalking ghosts. It could be a phantom. Because um, the phantom does the same that the banshee does. But it's a little bit more lazy than the banshee. Yeah, now it stays in the room. That's a little bit suspicious. So if this is a phantom, this was actually not a lazy phantom this time. They don't do that so often, not as often as the Banshee does, does it? The stalking towards the player. Come on, don't you wanna walk towards me again? I'm not sure at this moment. But we know it's one of those. It's either Banshee or Phantom. And um, we could see the difference during a hunt. And if it does a ghost event here, and I take a photo... Oh, it has turned off the sink again. Let's check it out. Why not? Let's go to the sink. Also, a phantom is more likely to stalk you when you are on the move. And the banshee is, does it every time. It doesn't care. And it feels for, like that for me, at least. I don't know if it's completely RNG or if it's just... Oh yeah, thank you for that. Are you here? Can you give us a sign? Are you here? Show yourself. Show yourself. Let's see, it touched that door. Show yourself. Are you here? Of course, it could also be a mimic. But hey, I take any photo I can. Because uh, I want to get a perfect game, but I don't want to chill around the ghost for too long. <laughs> Okay, let's see if it follows me again. Because it did it before. Yep. Let's stay near the camera actually. In case it shows itself. I can test for Phantom. Okay, are you gonna step into the next one? I 
okay yeah, because he doesn't want to do anything anymore hey there maybe it's a phantom maybe Let's see if this camera here so I know it which one which one I see the light please don't break my perfect game please does it count like that Ooh, does it count yes see on its way back it turned that on <laughs> the heating okay it feels like when I'm on the move it starts to roam towards me so it was over there okay let's see if, if it does it again now I'm curious. I'm not sure at this moment. It's between both of them. But uh, for the Phantom, I could test it during the hunt later on. Let's hope it does a ghost event at one point here. That would be great. I think that was ambient. Um, Feels like it's not coming through here, huh? Let's grab this. Please don't do a ghost event right now because I don't have a photo cam with me. Let's put this here because we can also hear that on the power mic if it walks through this area here then. Wait, I've turned it off, right? Okay, so this might take a while, so I'll be back. Oh, it happened. I don't know if I can take that picture. It roamed towards me and it gave me EMF. And I think that's something, I don't know why. Sometimes it just, I'm, it may have dodged the sound here, but the other EMF has a wheeling tune. That's weird. So, a phantom gives you EMF sometimes when it runs towards you, but I don't know how it works because sometimes it gives you an EMF because I didn't hear anything next to me being thrown or something. So, I think when it, when it reaches its destination, it gives you an EMF that something the banshee doesn't when it runs towards you. That's how I can tell the difference here now, without a hunt, but I can't explain you how it works and why the Benji doesn't give you an EMF and the Phantom does and why the Phantom doesn't give it to you this EMF reading all the time. So I don't know. So yeah. But you should keep that in mind if you test for Benji and Phantom like this with the Sandras because um, you can tell the difference and yeah I have that feeling it's a bit lazy with the roaming but uh, if you want to trigger a phantom to roam towards you you've killed the breaker just get out of the map go back in and walk around for a bit I don't know why but it feels like if you do that it triggers the ghost to follow you or to walk toward, towards your location so that's actually interesting Okay, um, I think, I don't know where my sanity is at, but I think I'm gonna set up a hiding spot over there for later for the 25% objective. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it can roam towards me and I could try to hunt on top of me. So that's why I'm gonna set this thing up so I can find my hiding spot. I actually don't need those anymore over there because it's not roaming that way. So... Why don't we just grab them so we can see a bit as you can see it has uh, walked through that salt already oops i didn't want to throw you i wanted to do this and yeah that's my usual uh, strat that i do when i also when i play on multiplayer no matter if i play on solo or multiplayer i have to drain my sanity anyway so i'm just gonna stay here like this totally fine Okay, let's wait for Ghosty to approach us again. And actually, we could move this over here. 
and this. So let's put this here. Okay, we are on top of the EMF. We are behind the salt now, so it could walk into it. If it runs towards us, we need the camera. Okay. So yeah, everything has been set up. We just need three more pictures for the perfect game and the 25% objective. And if I stay here like that, in the dark, it's gonna hunt eventually. So let's wait for that. I'll be back. I was about to say, I think it's on its way. How do you dodge this salt? And here we go again! But where does it point at? That EMF reading. No, wait! Why didn't you step into the salt? Why does it point at here? At here? So that was the waypoint you've set? I, I, I still don't know how it works, but I'm trying to figure it out. Because we got that EMF reading again when the ghost came to our location, but it said it's waypoint to here. I don't know why. The EMF came from here. That's why it dodged the sword, maybe. It just walked over here, like through the sender and right here. Maybe towards the lantern? I don't know. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Usually it's the player. Oh, finished showering, huh? Now we only got the water. <laughs> okay, so I'm draining sanity right now. And yeah, the ghost keeps avoiding the last salt. Wait, you were over there at my hiding spot? What? I've set a sensor up over there too. Um, what were you doing there? Oh, hey, welcome back. Please come. And this time the waypoint is over there. What? Come on, do a ghost event, please. Ah, it went back. It keeps studying the salt. Does it do that on purpose? Yeah, the waypoint is here this time. So it's random around the player and not the player's position, I think. Because um, the wave, it's the player's position when it teleports on you. You got the EMF reading then where you were at the moment the ghost teleported on top of you. Then you can take an interaction photo of Alpha. Oh hey buddy, you wanna do a ghost event? Come on, you are right there. You can do a ghost event here. Come on. So this time it tried to walk towards me through there. So is it kind of random? Like within a specific range of the player when it stalks you. That's actually quite interesting. Hey, we can do some science here now. I know for some people it might be boring, but for me it's now interesting to understand the phantom. And in the stats we're gonna check how often it has used its ability, which would be that roaming towards us, like for the Banshee. But like I said, and you can see it here clearly, it's not happening as often as if you're dealing with a banshee. So this is obviously a phantom because a banshee doesn't give you that, that EMF reading when it roams towards you. But I still don't understand the EMF readings. I would love to understand them. I would love to ask the devs, but I don't have the connection to them, unfortunately. Okay. I think my sanity is dropping and that's why the ghost is using its ability more frequently now. Because I'm sitting in the dark this whole time. Hey ghosty, welcome back. Can you step in this? Thank you. Where's my camera? Do a ghost event. Show yourself. Show yourself. No EMF again because it has been pushed back by the salt. Do we have all the photos? Yeah, one more. Show yourself. Are you here? Show yourself. Throwing stuff over here. But what? Are you kidding me? I've heard something over here. Yeah, it's too 
far away. I don't know. Uh, was that again roaming? Because there's nothing here that could give EMF too. Interesting. That's that's actually how you've done out that. Could have taken a picture of that. No. Leave that here. Maybe it was another waypoint. Okay. Oh, sorry, my nose is itchy. Okay, please blow out another lantern. I mean, you can also try to. Exactly, Ghosty. You're right. You can try to hunt on top of me and burn the crucifix, and then I can take a photo out of that. Hmm? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Let's keep. It's on its way, I think. Let's see. We might get an EMF if it reaches us. Come on, step into the sand. No? Aha. Uh -huh. Hello, ghosty. And here it is again. Oh, that's so interesting. So this time here. The last waypoint was here and there was another over there. Show yourself. Are you here? Show yourself. I want to take a photo of you. Oh, I'm already leaving. You're boring. Did you blow out the candle? No. It's still lit. Sensor has been triggered again. It's so interesting. I just want to experiment a bit with the ghost. It's cool, actually. Hey, ghosty. Uh, boop, boop, boop. EMF? This EMF? Ah, uh, it's it has set its waypoint to this. this Okay, watch that, guys. You hear that? She was still singing. She was there. She's still standing there. You see the sensor? She's right there. And she stepped into the salt. Oh my god, now you are locked here with me, huh? Oh no, now you walk back. Okay. So yeah, Granny Phantom. Why can't I move this? I hate those doors, you know? Eh, they are so weird. Okay. So let's get ready for the real stuff, huh? Shall we? Where's the crucifix? Here. That's That was a true phantom move. There you go. The ghost is not visible but the sensor. And there's the crucifix I've asked for. Yep. Time to sit in the better hiding spot. Of course I can show you the blinking of this ghost. Of course, but let's just let me grab another smudge. Oh, ghosty, you are, now you are going for the real thing, huh? No more joking. I'm gonna leave that crucifix there, it's fine, it's gonna be... There? Whoa! Why right in front of me, of course! Such a phantom move. I couldn't show you the blinking now because she spawned right in front of me. <laughs> so you have to expect that with a phantom any second. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This hiding spot should be safe. It's like a closet. As long as you don't touch anything and be quiet and have everything off, you should be fine. The next time I'm gonna show you the blinking of the ghost. So this time it was visible right at the beginning because the grace period just passed. So I'll be back. And it happened again. It just triggered that sensor. As you can see now it's walking back. And there's the EMF again. Of course that's why that's here, right? But that's good to know. So anytime if we check for phantom banshee and wave i mean for the wave you should have an emf anyways but if you see oh it stepped into the salt i don't need the emf for wave anymore you should still have an emf so you can tell the difference between the banshee and the phantom no that's mine stop it stop it that's my spot get out go back to your room 
Go wash your hands. No, you're dirty. Don't touch me. Wash your hands. Now. Yes. Go back. Go back. Oh, damn it. You are still here. Are you kidding me? Go back. No, she's right in front of me. Yeah. Okay. You saw it? I mean, you saw nothing, right? And that's the phantom. Whoa. Oh, I see something. No, Granny, not your skirt. No. I don't want to look under your dress, Granny. Yeah. Okay, we have done everything we can leave after that. So, I've showed you everything about the Phantom, I know. And this is nice knowledge. I knew that about the EMF reading you can get if the Phantom reaches its destination, but... I think if the salt stops it, it won't happen because it was not successful. I think it only um, gives you that EMF reading if the rolling ended su being successful. Maybe that's the reason. But you need to have an EMF near you to figure that out. So that's good to know. That's actually good to know that you can uh, tell the difference between a Banshee and a Phantom using the EMF. So that about the EMF, but now by investigating it, it's Lisa, it's Lindy, Lisa, it was following me, that was just cool, I enjoyed that round, it was so cool, so yeah, I hope this knowledge helps you too, I was Welcome about to say please Let's don't crash on me again, <laughs> it took so long for the loading, oh my god, a perfect game on a medium I don't need the money, I don't want to level that fast, <laughs> but I'm going to proceed anyways before the challenge mode, usually. Okay. Well, on sun Sunday evening I proceed usually, if I'm at high level, every two weeks, one prestige. That's how it goes. Slowly and easy, normal playing, normal missions, and for me these missions are normal, the 8.55 multiplier. It's so much fun to figure out the ghost without evidence using their mechanics, using their abilities, and especially ghosts like the Phantom that have multiple abilities and multiple ways to figure them out. I really enjoy that. Like um, the Revenant, you get only that during the Hunter Speed, for example. And uh, for the Phantom, you get three ways to figure it out. The worming behavior with the EMF, the photo, and the blinking during the hunt, which I, I really love it when ghosts have multiple ways to figure them out. The Benji, on the other hand, is more difficult because if there are many people out there who love to go into the map and have a hunt right away, yeah, but you can't figure out a Benji that way, you need to watch that roaming behavior of the Benji. For the same goes for the mayor, you have to watch that light switch ability. And I love it when ghosts have multiple ways to figure them out, like the Moroi, for example. If you get a whisper on a pair mic and you drop your sanity fast, you know, it's a more worry. Um, if it's slow during the hunt when your sanity is still a little bit higher, and if it becomes faster and faster the further your sanity drops, you can hear it, that's the other way. And you can also figure it out during the hunt when you take sanity medication, when your sanity is at zero, it's gonna be fast as heck, and when the sanity regenerates over time, you can hear it, if you're hiding of course, you can hear it becoming uh, slower and slower again because your sanity increases over time and could also do the smudge test which is a bit dangerous I wouldn't recommend it for beginners but uh, you you have to use that on the apocalypse for example to figure out the more why so yeah I love ghosts that, that have multiple abilities how you can figure them out so yeah as you can see it was following me a lot it roamed towards me 16 times but I think it has been stopped by four or five salt piles. That's why we have gotten the EMF readings not every time. But that's so interesting. Now I've learned something new and I hope this knowledge will help you too. 
I hope enough people see this to have the knowledge now to figure a phantom out that way. So, yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope it helps you as much as it helped me now to know a little bit more about the ghost. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!